Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on July 11th, 2023, I'll be using the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit by Kim Kranz. And there's the front of that box cover now. This is a brand new deck for me, everyone, that I just received as a gift yesterday for my birthday. So I'm super excited to share it with you today. This does come in a larger packaging that looks just like this, where the deck kind of sits within the packaging as well as the booklet. And this is a really big booklet indeed. And you know how I like booklets, especially my return watchers know that about me, certainly. So we're gonna jump right in and off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love and light, universe, all signs, collective message for timeless, for whenever we find it, whoever needs it. What do we need to know, spirit, spirit, spirit? What is the most important message for us today to take in? What do we, oh, and there it goes. Flipped right over for us, thank you, spirit kind of bent the card in the process goodness gracious all right wow this is the first time I'm using this deck as I'm sharing it with you so you're discovering it with me here today and the card that popped out for us is the horse and look at that I love the details of these cards and the animals certainly all right and as I always say if something resonates with you if it's a sign in synchronicity horses or right if you're seeing horses if you live near horses if you love horses if you own horses indeed there could be additional messages for you here today or if you just really you know maybe horses aren't in your life and it's something that you've wanted to pursue this may be your nudge today to pursue that and whatever modality that means for you, all right? And you know, this reminds me because it's a sketch. So maybe there's somebody here that sketches wildlife, all right? And knowing that there could be additional messages for you here today if you sketch wildlife or if you sketch horses in particular, all right? To continue to do that as your very gifted artist and uh, people enjoy your work that is coming from this for me as I'm looking into the image here and also we've got a moon on the the forehead of the horse here so certainly if moon means anything to you if you indeed are affected by the cycles of the moon there could be additional messages for you and this shape here which i don't know what that means or right as i as i mentioned this is my first time using this deck so maybe over time and as i'm reading in the booklets uh, I will discover more about what these images and the intent of the images here are from our lovely Kim Krantz, all right? But certainly remember numbers, animals, music, people, anything repeating color energy, all right? Colors have energy, all right? So anything that is repeating in your life in any of those categories pay attention because that's where your messaging is that's where universe and, and spirit is trying to send you additional messages through those repeating numbers repeating signs and synchronicities so you're being invited to really pay attention and apply that to your life where it resonates all right so we're going to jump into the booklet and see what indeed we have here and it doesn't appear that this is necessarily Oh, okay. That's what that's those signs and um, those signs at the top that I mentioned there is actually. Um, let let me get to it here. I apologize. I should have looked into this a little bit quicker for us. But what I wanted to show you here, and this is the opposite sign, so we'll look. But see how that sign is upright and it represents air. Okay, so this might be the opposite of that. Let's find indeed what that one means for us well thank you so much for hanging in there with me as i'm discovering this deck with you all all right okay so we got an answer to our question earth all right very interesting so that's the sign for earth as well so if you're an earth sign all right there could be additional messages specifically for you here today and we're going and then it's a lovely way that she has this organized in the booklet and I can even show you as we go. So all of the earth animals that she has in mind are under this earth chapter, okay? 
they're not in alphabetical order so that's why it's taking me so long to find um, the information but here we are okay we've got the horse and there's that earth sign there at the top all right and so what is the overall energy of this card momentum freedom expansive energy force all right the horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck it provides us with momentum so reliable so supportive that you can ride on its back toward any goal no matter how difficult the terrain a horse personality is fully awakened fully alive and cannot be defeated and maybe this is you or somebody that you know if you've got these attributes okay the horse freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice and there's that daily piece again and that is a theme in all of my readings are right daily work daily action is where it's at okay and taking necessary steps not just dreaming and thinking about things but actually taking action steps as you're dreaming and thinking about things because that's how we bring it into our 3d realities isn't it all right the horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice as i just mentioned physical stamina exercise and mental focus meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy so maybe you come here today and you needed to receive the message about moving your body more or right and exercising and getting out there and getting the blood pumping and moving that body or right that that is so healthy and important for us as animals and, and living beings is to move our body, right? And then that mental focus as well that the booklet talks about meditation or spending time in contemplation. You know, not everybody resonates with a meditation practice and that is okay. Just sitting and having quiet time and thinking thoughts, writing lists if you desire, if that's something that, you know, a lot of people feel better when they you know pull the thoughts out of the brain and put it down onto paper it's uh, kind of an action list that way and it reminds you you can put this on your refrigerator or on your mirror as your you know and I would suggest this for affirmations as well you know I am statements are right to to keep your motivation and to remind you and and to change that you know brain chemistry and, and that neuroplasticity or right and if the word neuroplasticity really lights a fire in you what do i always say go out and do your homework and your research anything that i mention either through the booklet or additional information that i'm bringing forward from my personal experience if anything at all strikes a chord with you that is a sign to go out and research that specifically all right but we change the connections within our brain or the neuroplasticity by how we conduct ourselves and our activities and our thought patterns, all right? And how we conduct that, okay? If you're going to continue to think negative thoughts and not try to challenge those negative thoughts, then you're always gonna have that negative environment. And I know I've mentioned this before in other videos, okay? where you're the definition of insanity by doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result well you want to challenge yourself to that okay because the way that you get different results is by trying something new and that could just be the mindset okay so you're being encouraged today to really spend time in meditation or contemplation whatever feels right to you and really challenge any negative belief systems any straight to negative thought systems all right if you typically you know complain stop try to take one day of not complaining and you know how difficult that is because we get into patterns we get into habits and it just becomes part of our daily hab habitual nature and our conversation as we bring in complaining certainly if you're surrounding yourselves with others that complain all the time you might want to rethink that as well okay you it, it's always advised to surround yourself with people that are not wasting their energy gossiping about other people not wasting their energy in a negative mood state finding situations and then if those situations are challenging being able to find ways to 
defeat that, to challenge the challenge, right? And to find a resolve, okay? So just being really encouraged today to move your body and also move your mind, okay? Because if we don't use it, we lose it. And that's not only our physical body system, but also our mind. So please educate yourself, get hungry for education, continue to consume and absorb things that are healthy, okay, as far as information coming in from all of your sources, not only advice that individuals are asking or presenting to you if you're asking questions about something, but also in other areas as well. You know, the, the TV that you consume, the YouTube videos you choose to watch, those should always be things that are helping you, not hurting you, okay? And um, so there's, there's a lot here going on with this messaging from me today, or right, encouraging you to really challenge, you know, not only your mindset, but your physical body as well. If you've been thinking about starting that workout program, today might be the day where you take the first step. Take action today, all right, so that you are, you're going to feel so much better. And we know that it takes time to create habits and for habits to solidify in our life. And that is... You know, and don't quote me on this because I don't know the exact uh, days, but I want to say it takes 30 days. And, and I will go out and Google search that and look into the what that correct answer is for us, of course, okay? But know that it takes time of daily practice, doing the same thing day in and day out to create that habit for you. And that you're really being encouraged to include physical exercise in your daily routine, along with contemplation or meditation as you move forward within your life. So just some additional thoughts there, some additional mentions uh, and ideas. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? When in balance, you achieve anything and you never give up. That's what this card means. When you are out of balance, you run away or you feel weak, okay? to bring into balance strength training, okay? And, and building confidence so that, you know, strength training really builds our physical bodies, but it also builds confidence, all right? And it really, it builds that habit, all right, of consistency, of coming back and working hard towards a goal for our betterment, right? And that will bring balance and confidence to you if you consider strength training within your exercise it would be a wonderful addition, okay? And getting that heart pumping, you know, and there's different, everybody has different advice of what exercise program may work for them. And I know there's, there's things out there about different body types that you could look at how your body type reacts to foods and reacts to different types of exercises and really personalizing that approach for you to have the quickest, the best and most lasting beneficial results, all right? So maybe spend some time on the computer today if you'd like and go out and research different exercise programs for your body type or, you know, and, and, and different ways of approaches that way. Some people will say, you know, you, you want to focus more on cardio, for example, or weight training as your main focus, but you have to do what feels right for you. Maybe it's something more like Tai Chi or yoga, which is gentle, all right? So you really have to focus on what works for you. What interests do you have? And with food as well, okay? Because we might be taking on diets, all right? And as part of those diets, we might be eating foods that we just don't like. So what I would encourage you to do is look within the food groups and write down a list within each food group of the foods you absolutely love in that food group and stick to that, okay? And only consume things that you actually like to eat that are healthy, of course. And, you know, life is life and you need to have fun too. So don't skimp on, you know, enjoying yourself. If you want to eat birthday cake, do it. All right, you live once in this body, okay? So take the time to pick those moments of enjoyment and, and whatever that means for you. But everything in moderation, correct? 
So just throwing it out there to encourage you to do some due diligence and some research today about exercise programs that work best for your body type, as well as food choices that you actually like, okay? And, and really getting ready to start that program. And I would encourage you to get out into nature. Like I have this beautiful setting here. You're gonna see me, you know, doing a lot of videos from this location and also indoor locations as well. But I wanna encourage you is maybe you just need to take a walk outdoors and you can actually, you know, accomplish two things at once where you're taking a nice leisurely walk as you're starting your workout program. And while you're walking in nature, you can start to contemplate and think about those other things, those other areas, you know, whether that's concentrating and focusing on your, um, exercise program or your, you know, your food program and that, but also other ways you can build your confidence or right, because when you're in balance, you're confident, you're sure of yourself, you're positive, and you like to challenge yourself and move forward with things, okay, and move on from any negativity. And when you're out of balance, you feel like running away, and you feel weak, or right, and that's not a fun state to be in for very long. Of course, most of us go within states all the time as life ebbs and flows and and ups and downs within life which is all part of the process and all part of the experience but also realizing that the quicker that you return to that high vibratory state of positivity the quicker you can move through it or right the quicker you can take on more and it's an important positive state to be in as you're welcoming new things into your life as you're thinking about this exercise program as you're thinking about the food choices you want to make or right and being positive about it and also recognizing it's not easy to do okay there's going to be hard days there's going to be days you wake up and you say i, I just don't feel like working out today and you should push yourself through that and do it anyway. Maybe do a day that is less active, like a walk in nature and contemplating. Or please be mindful that you do need to take breaks and that breaks are absolutely healthy. It just becomes a slippery slope when we allow ourselves too many breaks, or right? It's important to push through and move through challenges in life. And if you're challenging yourself and self-sabotaging because you time and time again, you know, you start up a food program or you start up an exercise program, it goes good for a week or two and then you just fall off, you know, and you just stop doing it. This time do something different because I don't want you to feel insane as you do things over and over expecting different results when indeed you just need to push through that difficult timing for you, that time when you wanna self-sabotage. Instead of self-sabotage, do something else. And even if that's just getting on the phone with a friend that supports you to encourage you to keep going and to put one foot in front of the other so that you can indeed exercise your body that day, or right? So, what a wonderful and fantastic message. I really enjoy these cards, absolutely. And I do have several other decks that are new. So I will be using those in the upcoming videos um, to come, or right in my every single day daily videos as I do, or right, my collective energy. So I thank you so much. I thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, the messages. I thank you so much for all of that. Thank you for your well wishes and your wonderful, you know, encouragement i appreciate you i'm doing this for you in hopes that it helps you you know bring up topics every single day that we can talk about together and think about how we can apply things to our life to make us better to make us have more fun in our life enjoy our lives more and help others while we're doing it right I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you get out into nature and take that walk and take some time to think about things and write your list and really put yourself for first or right. Very important. As we want to give back to others, we have to fill our cups first. We have to take care of ourselves and our well-being first so we can be that best human. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the day. Be the best human you can be. Put the best foot forward. And remember, tomorrow yet again, I'll be keeping up my consistency and providing a yet another collective energy reading. So I'd invite you to join me again tomorrow and we'll talk about another topic and you'll see what deck I'm using tomorrow and what colors I'm wearing tomorrow. I'm also going to be putting in another order for my wigs. So 
in time here. We'll be seeing new colors and new inspiration in that way. Eventually, as I use the wigs and I, you know, use them enough times, I am going to retire the wig and actually have it for sale. If anybody wants a signed wig for me eventually, these are just some of my dreams and my goals and I'm sharing it with you. And certainly my subscribers, as I develop and grow and, and become monetized with YouTube, which is going to happen. It's just a matter of time and consistency and daily work on my part. I will have special things for just my subscribers, all right? Special offerings and special opportunities. So stay tuned. Just wanted to share a little bit that, a little bit of that with you today of some of my goals too, all right? Have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.